Hi guys, uh, so today we are going to look how I implemented 3D model loading and parallel uh, displaying with my sprite engine, if I can call it this way. Um, first of all, I have uh, funny videos captured how it looked like when I was writing my shitty code, but like it's 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 not better than it was, but at least now it works. But I had funny uh, glitches, or I don't know. But I guess somebody can like these artifacts, so I'm going to show you and probably comment a bit. Okay, so this one is uh, how I created. Uh, 3D model, like I wasn't creating it, I just uh, downloaded Blender, uh, opened this monkey uh, object and exported as uh, .obg file. Then uh, using tiny obg loader, or how this library is called, I just uh, followed the tutorials, uh, loaded my 3D mesh and tried to load it uh, as I do with my uh, textures. And you see that the result was pretty funny. Problem with the loading of 3D mesh was solved pretty fast. I just uh, ch ch changed my uh, co co comments from Vulkan that I am uh, calling, and uh, I was able to see monkey. But I wanted to try somehow create uh, a way to draw sprites and maybe like switch between, between modes or in the best case scenario to be able to uh, draw it parallelly and uh, yeah so I was just basically just trying just uh, investigating validation uh, layers uh, errors uh, I wasn't following any uh, like tutorials I just wanted to uh, like wrap it with the code that I have already it is not good, I know, and I am sure it's not optimal, but uh, then I was pretty close to what I wanted. I created a new level without uh, any objects, just a background and player sprite, and uh, was loading a monkey. So, and uh, yeah, you can see in this uh, like video, popped, uh, yeah, picture, that uh, background is messed up so and I saw some like validation errors so I was looking further and the answer for me was pretty expected I basically created another pipeline so yeah we will see how it looks but uh, I guess it's I, I just I just like played around with it when it was ready. I was pretty happy about the result. I'll just check if you can see everything right. Um, let's do it like this. It looks cool. So I will start with loading a level which I created just with a random player sprite and a background, and it looks like this and it's rotating, I don't have any depth tests so just like for now you see that it's some kind of weird uh, the, the monkey but uh, people who were uh, like loading the meshes and stuff they I guess understand what's going on and why we see it like this uh, also you see that it's like uh, I don't use any textures I'm just using normal um, parameter well, variables and I, I moved, uh, shifted background uh, a bit because if I will uh, draw it on the zero zero position, we will not see uh, uh, a three D object. So yeah, and and I just created a small like uh, zoom zoom in zoom out test, and I really like the result uh, because we can like zoom it. We will cross the near play. Um, yes, and look. For me, it looks like amazing. I think it will <laughs> go pretty far. I can also try to load <coughs> second layer uh, level, and uh, 
I am just totally crazy about the result because it still moves, it's still playable, I can like be a player, I can like see the animation, it's absolutely crazy. And <laughs> again, I can zoom, I can go zoom and stuff, super nice. And uh, yeah, so, and also last time I checked, free move was also working. I'm just super nervous because I am expecting some crashes, but I just don't get them now. And it's super great. It's super cool. It's super cool. I really like it. Okay, I will go fast uh, through the code because I know that you really want to hear a bit about that. So, uh, what I'm doing in my pipeline CPP f uh, uh, file, I am loading uh, shader modules with my for my like sprite vertex and fragment shader from my for my model vertex and fragment shader. Also, st in stupid way, I am creating uh, two pipeline layouts and two pipelines for sprite and for mo uh, models. And you can see I am beautifully commenting it, so you are aware where uh, where what starts. Then I have here model vertex shader which just uh, takes the vertex position and uh, multiply it by matrix uh, so it rotates and zoom in zoom out you know then i am just putting the fragment color as input color that is normal color then my sprite vertex and fragment shader if no one like if somebody didn't know uh, so they are different and uh, also, as my uh, fra fragment color, I am using a texture uh, sampler. So, uh, what else? Also, I have now hard-coded loading mesh and initialization, initialization of a resource uh, data structure. For now, I am simply using uh, it like this, just hard-coding the uh, file name and the uh, positions so uh, yes and like when I initialize uh, resources when I load the lead level you also see it always at the same position and my draw function really ugly not proud but it's just the beginning uh, stupid um, projection view calculations not interesting but here I am checking if my render object is a model and if it is I am going to uh, ignore any uh, binding disc descriptor sets with the texture and I am just calling cmd draw but here if it is not a render texture uh, wait, uh, model I am just uh, I'm, I'm doing uh, binding uh, index buffer because as I said I am manually indexing it and also calling a cmd draw indexed okay that's all I guess for today I hope you enjoyed and I guess uh, we will see each other next time maybe in a week maybe more I really want to uh, do something cool next time uh, okay Bye.